Good morning all. So today we are down the, not down the farm, we're at the workshop. You don't really get to see this place often because uh, I don't really do many YouTube videos here. So yeah, so uh, I'm currently working on a gasket. Um, so I found myself with a spare couple of hours. So uh, I decided I was going to make a start on the um, EFI conversion. Um, I've kind of just been like cracking on with it really, but I'm going to give you a bit of a run through. Um, so I've got one of my ZTEC plug and play looms and uh, I sort of laid it out across the engine bay and um, I teed into the uh, crankshaft sensor and using the Max ECU, this crankshaft sensor here, um, just goes down to a little, little VR sensor on top of the gearbox. And um, using the Max ECU, what you can actually do is, if I show you here, you can scope F10. So what you can actually do with the Max ECU is you can actually scope out the signal. So um, I scoped out the signal and uh, I sent it to the guys over at Max. Um, they took a look at it for me and um, now it's all implemented into the software. The problem is the trigger wheel on the back of um, the flywheel on these is really, really weird. It's actually a 44 to 2 to 2. Um, which out getting really geeky means that the signal actually repeats itself every 180 degrees um, so it's not really ideal for EFI because um, obviously the C1J engine in these in these like in this van and in Renault 5 turbos and stuff like that um, they use a distributor still so the AI unit obviously fires the spark out and then it's the um, the distributor's job to obviously work out that it's going to the right cylinder um, so the trigger will sort of base around that. So to get rid of the distributor and try and fit a coil pack, um, it doesn't really work too great, actually, which won't work at all. So what it needs is um, you need a TDC reference. So the ECU's got like a reference point or a camshaft input, camshaft sensor input, basically. Um, so what I done was um, I bodged this up. Do not judge me. This was just for testing to make sure it works, and it does. I made this. Um, so basically what it is, is this is the standard distributor. Um, I've put a, th a little bolt through one of the screw holes, welded a bigger bolt to the top of it, and then nut and bolted. This is a camshaft sensor out of a um, Ford Focus ST225 and like Focus RS and stuff like that. It's a, a five volt hall sensor. And then in the tip of the rotor arm, I, um, I sent a screw into it and I positioned the sensor just after TDC. And then I set the Max ECU to trigger its reset point just after TDC. And now combined with the crankshaft uh, signal input and the camshaft input, uh, it now runs basically. Um, I've bodged up a Volkswagen coil pack here as I normally do. Um, I've, I've just cable tied, it's proper bodged up. So I'm gonna try and make a bit of a better bracket because I wanna try and wire it up and take it for a drive running an electronic ignition. So um, once I sort an inlet manifold with some fuel injectors and a high pressure pump, I can then convert it to injection. Yeah. Right, so next job. Mount this coil pack a little bit neater. There's a like a, a little bracket, like a, a lifting eye on the front of this engine that's held on with two 30 mil bolts. So I'm gonna try and utilize that to mount the coil pack off. That's my plan anyway. I'm just gonna go with it and see how it uh, pans out. So yeah, let's crack on. Uh, so I was um, basically offering up the coil pack under the bonnet. Um, that little bracket I showed you, I ended up using that and I ended up making this. Ta -da. It's not very pretty, obviously. I just cut two bits of flat plate, blobbed them together as best as I could with a MIG, uh, welded on three little tubes. And now this will bolt nicely here. And then uh, the coil will uh, bolt on top. Yeah, let's bolt it on, I'll show you what I mean. Like that. I could only find like two screws that were long enough, so I'll have to get some like pretty stainless steel Allen key headed bolts off eBay or something. Um, yeah, gave the bracket a bit of a tweak. I have noticed Quite annoyingly, it's slightly squiff, but I can live with that. A lot of people can't, but I can, but this is temporary. So um, yeah, I'm sure the uh, final one will look a lot better. Right, now just try and remember what lead goes where and see if they reach. Probably should have checked that first. Ah, well. Woohoo, they fit. Had to go around the houses a little bit. And um, these are just leads off of a, um, like a two litre VW Beetle. Um, there's like a certain year of Beetle that doesn't use pencil calls and it uses this call pack. Um, so I just ordered the matching leads because the, um, the leads that are for a Renault 5, um, the distributor cap end doesn't fit into the coil. So I ordered the Beetle leads because I know they'd fit the coil and they kind of fit the Renault plugs, they're not ideal. Um, I'm in talks with someone at the minute and he's gonna make me some 
Renault 5 leads to my length with the Renault 5 plug fit in one end and the VW the other end. So yeah, right. So now I've got the core pack on and mounted. I've got all the leads clicked in as they should be. Don't actually look too bad. I can live with that to be fair. Uh, I'm gonna lay the loom out and uh, just try and mount it. I'm gonna drill a hole here. Some of the Renaults have got like um, a bung here, a standard. So I'm gonna drill a hole here and run the loom through it. But um, on some of the Renault 5 turbos, um, they have that AI unit in here. Um, and I think they've got like a, a grommet or a hole here somewhere that the HT lead runs through for the um, distributor. So I've left enough slack in the loom so it can run through here or down there or there or blah, anywhere you wanna run it basically. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do next. So I've been cracking on, got really confident and removed the uh, standard ignition module. Mounted the Max Mini under the scuttle. It's waterproof, by the way. Um, I even the, the vac line that comes off the inlet manifold and then up on the AI unit, I've rooted it underneath and connected it to the map sensor that's built in on the Max Mini. So, uh, yeah, that was handy. Uh, I've took the jack out, I've just tucked the loom through here, drilled a hole, nice little grommet. Not quite the right size grommet, I had to cut it down, so I need to uh, order some smaller ones, but that will do for now. Um, I managed to source the uh, original OEM plug for the crank sensor, so that plugs in now. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering why my wiring loom isn't braided or wrapped, um, it's because that um, I'm sort of I leave them open like this, just while I'm sort of adjusting them and cutting them about and stuff like that to save unwrapping and rewrapping them. Um, and I am planning on obviously having these made in bulk, like I do with the ZTEC looms and stuff like that. Um, and I'm. The aim is to try and make a plug and play harness for like Renault 5 turbos and just the C1J engine in general, to be fair. Um, that's why I'm going to all this effort on my little van. So yeah, anyway, back to the point. Um, drilled the hole through there, put a nice little grommet in. I'm still trying to source the um, three pin plug for um, the uh, power and the, the earth for the AI unit. I thought I found it, but I didn't. Um, it was slightly different, so yeah. Um, I've just crimped a pin on there, pushed it in and taped it up, bodged it up. Um, so yeah. Um, I'm just going to run some of the wiring around now, just tidy it up, so yeah, plug it all in and see what happens. Right, oh, let's crack on. Been cracking on, um, getting a bit better. I've, uh, I've bunched up all the spare cables here for the minute. This is to do with like um, throttle position sensor and fuel injectors and stuff like that. Um, I haven't got an inlet manifold that accommodates for fuel injection yet, so um, I've just bunched them up there. More spare cables just hooked up here. I've uh, plugged the coolant temp sensor and an air temp sensor in there just for the minute, just to uh, get rid of some of the fault codes that the Max ECU is flashing up. Um, then it will just be TPS. Um, I've run the cable along here. I've left this one quite long because um, this is the trigger for the hall sensor, um, so I don't really want it to pick up interference, and it's got to kind of run past all the high temps. Uh, high voltage HT leads and um, so I've sort of run it with enough length so I can run it across the top of the rad then sort of jump over into the distributor it's not gonna be perfect but it does work fine so yeah um other than that it should actually run now let's give it a go <clears throat> Needs a bit of choke. I think he needs a bit more choke. Oh, she did. Right, let's uh, give it a little bit of a tune. I haven't touched ignition, man. Oh my God, it's still on ignition lock. It's got 10 degrees fixed advance, that's why. Oops, all right, let's sort that now. That's better. I don't quite like the look of that death wheel spinning around down there. I'm gonna try and make like a 3D printed distributor cap with a 3D printed printed rotor arm. So it'll just be a case of you know changing the cap and arm and then you've got a hall sensor or like cam trigger anyway. Um I've just put like a Zeta turbo base ignition map on here. Obviously it runs off vacuum so I haven't got throttle position. Um I cheated a little bit. I looked in the uh auto data book we've got like a it's got like an old auto data book here and it's got some of the base timings for uh, like Renault 5 
So um, I just sort of had a little look at that, got myself a rough idea of base timing, then just waiting some timing in it higher up the uh, rev range. Probably dead its tits off when I go up the road, but never mind. How nice it runs, look. Can't wait to get rid of that car brow. Oh yeah, I uh, I accidentally triggered the hall sensor at first with a, um, a 12 volt feed rather than a 5 volt feed. And when I was trying to get it to fire, it backfired so loud it actually blew a hole in my exhaust. I don't know where it's leaking from, but I can hear it puffing. I've got a feeling there's a hole in the top of it somewhere because it sounds terrible. But ain't fallen off, so yeah. Right. That looks all right, doesn't it? So weird just seeing that buzzing around there. Right, let's crack on.